In this video, I will show you the construction and the logical operation of CMOS NOR gate. As this will be a NOR gate, if at least one of the input is at logic 1, our output will be at logic 0. Okay, this is the circuit structure of CMOS NOR gate using three terminal schematic of MOSFET. And this is the circuit structure of CMOS NOR gate using the four terminal schematic symbol of MOSFET. Here you will see we will have two p-type MOSFET. Q1 and Q2 will be p-type enhancement MOSFET and Q3 and Q4 will be n-type enhancement MOSFET. See here, we have this voltage VDD. This is the bias voltage and we are applying the voltage VDD at the source terminal of the transistor Q1. And the drain terminal of the transistor Q2 is connected to the common point of the drain terminal of the transistor Q3 and Q4. See, at this point, the drain terminal of the transistor Q3 and Q4 are connected together and we are taking the output from that common point okay see the drain terminal of q2 q3 and q4 are connected here and we are taking the output from this terminal with respect to ground terminal okay now see the gate terminal of transistor q1 and q3 are connected together and we are applying the input a at the common point okay see the gate terminal of transistor q1 and q3 are connected together and we are applying the input a logical input a at that terminal and the gate terminal of the transistor q2 and q4 are connected together and we are applying logical input b at that terminal in case of p type mosfet a p type mosfet is turned on when we apply a higher negative voltage with respect to its negative threshold voltage here if i apply a voltage minus vdd at the gate terminal of p type mosfets it will be turned on Therefore, to specify logic 0, we will apply minus VDD and to specify logic 1, we will apply a voltage plus VDD. Plus VDD is a voltage which has a magnitude greater than the threshold voltage in case of n-type MOSFET and when we will apply VDD at the gate terminal of n-type MOSFETs, it will turn on and we will specify logic 1 with VDD plus VDD and with minus VDD we will specify logic 0 in case of CMOS NOR gate. Now I will show you the logical operation of CMOS NOR gate. Consider the first case when A will be at logic 0 and B will be at logic 0. A will be at logic 0 that means we will apply minus VDD voltage at the gate terminal to ground terminal. That means I will have a voltage source VDD whose negative terminal will be connected at the input A terminal and positive terminal will be connected at the ground terminal. This B is at logic 0. That means I will have another voltage source VDD whose negative terminal will be connected at the B terminal and positive terminal will be connected to ground terminal. Now see this is our transistor Q1 and we are applying a negative voltage at the gate terminal of a p-type MOSFET. So our transistor Q1 will be in on state. We are applying a negative voltage at the gate terminal of the transistor Q2. So it will also be in on state. We are applying negative voltage at the gate terminal of transistor Q3 which is a n-type MOSFET. So it will be in off state we are also applying a negative voltage at the gate terminal of the transistor q4 this is also a n type mosfet so this will also be in off state okay and we are taking the output from the common drain point now see if i show you the truth table you will see for the input 00, 0 the transistor q1 and q2 will be non state but q3 and q4 will be in off state as q1 and q2 are in on state therefore i can close 
the switch or I can replace this with a short circuit like this Q2 is in on state so it will act like a closed switch so I can short this two point see Q3 and Q4 are in off state that means they will act like open circuit or open switch as they will be open circuit you will see there will be no current flow through this path or this path as a result the voltage between this terminal to ground terminal will be equal to zero therefore as we are applying vdd voltage here this plus vdd will be appeared in the output terminal so this will give us our output voltage vdd which will indicate logic one for zero zero we will get logic one at the output terminal now consider the second case when a will be at logic zero that means we will apply minus vdd voltage at the input a terminal that means i will connect the negative terminal of vdd at the input a terminal and positive terminal to the ground terminal and b will be at logic one logic zero one that means i will connect plus vdd at the input b terminal this will put logic zero at the input a and logic one at the input b see we are applying negative voltage at the gate terminal of transistor q1 as this is a p-type mosfet it will be in on state we are applying negative voltage at the gate terminal of q3 as this is a n-type mosfet it will be in off state we are applying a positive voltage at the gate terminal of q2 as this is a p-type mosfet it will be in off state but the transistor q4 will be in on state because it is a n type mosfet and n type mosfet turns on when we apply positive gate voltage now look at the truth table for 0 1 transistor q1 and q4 will be in on state and q2 and q4 will be in off state okay so i can replace the transistor q1 with a short circuit q2 with an open circuit q3 with an open circuit q4 with a short circuit okay now see from this terminal to ground terminal i have a total short circuit whatever the current flow through this path the resistance from this terminal to this terminal will be equal to zero and across a short circuit voltage is always equal to zero so our output will be at logic zero now consider the third case when a will be at logic one and b will be at logic zero a will be at logic one that means i will connect plus vdd source at the input a terminal and minus vdd source at the input b terminal now see we are applying a positive voltage at the gate terminal of q1 as it, this is a p-type mosfet it will be in off state we are applying a positive voltage at the gate of q3 as this is a n-type mosfet it will be in on state we are applying negative voltage at the gate of q2 as this is a p-type mosfet it will be in on state we are applying negative voltage at the gate of q4 this will be in off state because this is a n type mosfet okay now see q1 and q4 will be in off state q2 and q3 will be in on state look at the truth table for 1 0 q1 and q4 will be in off state but q2 and q3 will be in on state so i will replace the q1 with an open switch or open circuit q2 is in on state so i will replace it with a short circuit like this short path okay Q3 is also in on state that means I can replace it with a short circuit or short path Q4 is in off state so I can replace it with an open switch or open circuit okay now see from this terminal to ground terminal I have a entire short path through this way whatever the current flow through this path resistance in this path is equal to zero therefore if I apply ohm flow from this terminal to this terminal you will see I into R or I into zero will be equal to zero so for logic 1 0 our output will be 0 volt or our output will be at logic 0 now consider the last case when a will be at logic 1 and b will also be at logic 1 that means i will connect 
plus VDD source at the input A terminal and also in B terminal. See, we are applying positive voltage at the gate terminal of Q1 and Q3. As this is a n-type MOSFET, it will be in on state. This will be in off state. We are applying positive terminal at the gate of Q2 and Q4. This is a p-type MOSFET, so it will be in off state. As this is a n-type MOSFET, it will be in on state. So for 1 1 q3 and q4 will be in on state and q1 and q2 will be in off state for 1 1 q1 q2 are in off state so i will replace that with open circuit or open switch and q3 and q4 are in on state so they will be replaced by short circuit Okay. Or closed switch. See, we have total short circuit from this terminal to this terminal. In a short path, the resistance R is equal to zero. Therefore, if I apply Ohm's law, I will get I into R, which is equal to zero. So our output voltage will be zero volt. And this is the truth table of CMOS NOR gate. And this is the switching state of the transistors okay that's it thank you